I mean, you know this program as well as anybody, obviously, through all of your roles through the years. You guys are heading back to a state championship game with, a, I mean, a guy like Lunch that you've watched grow up the last five years. What does tonight mean and what does next weekend mean? Well, for, for our program, uh, this is huge because Lunch's freshman class, we had one of the worst seasons in this program's history. And it wasn't about the record on the field, it was the way that we played and the way we carried ourselves. And uh, it left a lot of people disappointed. It left me disappointed. I was questioning whether or not I should be the guy leading this program because I have so much respect for everything that's been built here, being a part of it being built. But I just wasn't happy with the way we played in 2019. And, and, and it wasn't much of football. And uh, we made the decision to go with Dewanye that spring to make him the face of our program. And that kid's never disappointed us. He does what he's supposed to do on and off the field. He, he, you can see what he does on the field when he just decides it's time. It's time. And uh, tonight, uh, I think he had 19 straight carries in the yeah. second half. He went over 300 yards rushing, 40 something carries probably. Uh, when you get a special one like that and he tells you he can take over, you let him take over. You've seen so many huge performances from him. For him to do that on, on this, this stage, stage, exactly. Yeah, he, this isn't his first 300 yard game, but this is one when all of, everything was on the line. Yeah. And uh, West Louisiana's really good football team. Uh, Coach Fuller's doing a great job building this program and, and they'll be around here for a while uh, in this level of, of football. But uh, he knew what was on the line and uh, our offensive line, those guys, you can't say enough about them. We lost a bunch of those guys last year. Nobody thought there was any way that we could continue that physical brand of football. Heck, we didn't think we were gonna continue. We thought we were gonna sling it all around this year. But those guys bought in and that became the identity of this football team is just being able to hard nose and physical. I think we ran the same formation with the same personnel and ran the same play 19 straight times tonight to close it up. Westville, after that dream start for y'all, nightmare for them, settled in and started to make it the game that we all Everybody expected it, it to be. And your defense ends up shutting them down for the last quarter plus. Yeah, and, and, and we, we helped them out a little bit there where we had to stop to start the second half just like it was scripted. We get to stop and then we muffed the punt. And uh, obviously, you got to overcome that. They had a miscue in special teams, so those things ended up washing themselves out at the end. But uh, you knew the character of that football team. They weren't going to they weren't gonna back down. But uh, we just knew that we continued to challenge our kids to just keep playing physical and believe in our process, and, and that's what they did tonight. After the excitement and emotion of tonight, turning the page, knowing there's one more, and going to that stage now, what do you tell these guys to prepare? Know the job's not finished. Does this well, group need to hear that? Or they? they? They don't because this team hasn't shied away from it. We, we've talked about nine all year long. Nine being the ninth banner to hang in our locker room. And uh, we know at Lutcher, because of the type of program that we are, we don't have room in our gym for district championships or quarterfinals or semifinals. It's state champions or bust. So our guys have talked about being great all year long and they know they're 48 minutes away from being great.